From the back of the back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. I have been with women from around the world. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. Hear the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. <laughs> I am your host. Right on our telephone number, you're gonna need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Let's say hello to Mark of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. How are you? Doing great, son. Well, I've got a problem here. Uh, I've been split up with my girlfriend now for about six weeks, and I don't know how to go on, Father. I need I need your advice. Why are you having a hard time with that? Uh, she did you a favor. Uh, well, I know I'm. I've I've listened to your show a lot, and you know I just I I've been divorced before, but I've been with her for five years, over five years, and. You know, during that time, she just, I, I think I'm trying to figure it out now. She's, it's all been about the money for her, I guess. And it's just, she continues to ask, you know, we have a son together. And, and it's all about the money for her. And Why I, did you have a baby funny. with someone you were not married to? Well, well, because I bought the birth control and, you know, I, I caught her flushing them down the toilet. <laughs> Why weren't you using any? I, I did. I used a condom, but they busted. Mm-hmm. So... You know, it's my fault, and I, you know, I'm trying not to live in the past, but you know, I, I don't know how to go on, Father. I don't know what to do. Well, so uh, you, you miss somebody who lied to you, misrepresented themselves, and got pregnant. They were flushing the birth control down the toilet, and you yes, miss no. a person who lied to you. Yes. Yes. Why do you miss a person who lied to you, a person who deceived you? Why? I. I, I don't have a, I don't have a good answer for that. What do you have? Low self esteem, or what kind of pussy are you? No, <laughs> no, I'm not. If you had if you had high self esteem, you would never miss someone who lied to you, ever. You're right, you're right. Ever. When all this happened, sir, I I I didn't I didn't feel the same way that I did when all this happened. But you know, we've been through a lot in the last three years together, and it's just that's because she lied to you, and now you have a baby. Yes. That's yes. why you've been through so much together. Well, and she, you just said to me, it was all about the money for her. So what exactly is it that you miss? She's a dishonest bitch. She's a gold digger. Tell me why you would miss a person like that. Well, because she's a very beautiful woman, and I. I because she's physically beautiful. She's well. She's twenty three, and I'm thirty one. So we met a very, you know, she met she met me when she was very young, and I guess she wants to just. Go How old was she? Eighteen. She was 18. So what you miss is you're you're a bit of a perv, and you miss somebody who's much younger than you. No, sir. What is it that you miss? The lying, um, the misrepresenting, the the, 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 the gold digging. Yeah. What part do you miss? Uh, the life that we built together. I guess I'm just the I'm life built upon a lie. Uh, I, I guess that I'm you were stupid people. enough to swallow for for many years. Yes. Yeah, but what you miss is something that was an illusion to begin with. It never existed. I guess that's what I needed to hear. It never existed. How do I move on, Father? Realize that this this life was it was something that never existed. You were distracted by a piece of ass. Well, I had I, I had no I still have no problem finding that. I'm actually outside of a. That's not my point. This particular piece of ass distracted you from being logical and reasonable. Yes, that's true. So you were uh, uh, hoodwinked into believing you had one particular life that you never, ever had. And that is because you were, you know, you were hopped up on testosterone. That's why. Hopped up on what? Testosterone. <laughs> 
well, that's that's building up now after six weeks. So, well, the point is, you were hopped up on it. Uh, yeah. You were you were so sexually aroused by this eighteen year old uh, that you could not be logical or reasonable, and you were allowed you allowed someone to uh, uh, to lie to you and misrepresent themselves, and and you allowed yourself to believe a fantasy that never existed. You're right. You're very, you're very much right. Sir. So if it never existed, you don't belong there. Yeah, I just, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to say goodbye to five years. You know, you're not, you're saying, saying goodbye to five years of lying, five years of misrepresenting, five years of deceit. And she's saying that I always held her back from doing stuff. You know what? I always. I always supported her. I always took care of her. She always well. Had- we always say we always say in this class that you know, eighteen is too young for a relationship anyway. I know. You are with a, an immature individual, and that's not to say you shouldn't bang immature individuals who are eighteen and up. What it is to say is that you don't want to be moving in with them, having babies with them, marrying them, living with them, paying their bills. You just want to have sex with them. Well, that that was just that was just the whole thing. You but know, you I'm couldn't together. do that, could you? No, I couldn't. And see, the thing is, is after after all this time, out. But had you followed my advice and just banged her, yeah. you wouldn't be where you are now. No. Well, that's what I'm trying to do now. I mean, three months ago, I actually stupid enough. I'm going to admit this to you. I know it's stupid, but I bought her an engagement ring three months ago. Oh, I know. I was going to propose to her on Mother's Day, and she knows that. <sighs> now she's now she's screwing with me. You know. Mm. That's 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 what it got to, you know. And I just I had been married before, and but you know I I should have taken your advice a long time ago. You should have taken my advice. How long have you been a student here? Uh, well, <laughs> she uh, she would always cut the radio off when I would listen to it. Of course, it's you know a different time. Yeah, but, uh, I'd listen to it uh, at night. And you allowed that uh, too? At, yeah, <laughs> you're right. For probably a year. Right. Yeah. Hang on a second here, Mark. Scott, what did you want to say to Mark? Father, may I? Yes. This guy is a pussy. Tom, I was this guy four years ago, dude. I, I dumped that bitch, and oh, my God, let me tell you. Dude, you need to wake up. I, You're I 31 years old. You could be banging more 18-year-olds. Yeah, I know. What I, are you doing? I just care about her, though. I mean, what am I doing? Ah, no, you don't. Uh. She doesn't care about uh, you. She doesn't care about me. No. If she cared about you, she wouldn't have lied to you. She wouldn't have had a baby and flushed the birth control pills down the toilet bowl. She wouldn't be after your money, and she'd still be there. Yeah, Tom. Well, I've got a good career, and I guess that's what all she was after. Now she's, you know, all she's talking about. That's is why she was money. after you. She was eighteen, and she wanted you. You think I don't think eighteen-year-olds might want my money? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> So hey, I have I sex with them, and then I drop kick them to the uprights. That's what I do. Yeah, and when they find out they're not getting any money and they want to leave, they're already gone. They don't understand it. They're gone already. You said that you were me four years ago. How do, you, how do you move on from something like that? I mean, obviously you were in love, too. Is, is, can I give you that? Did you feel that you loved this person? You asking me? No, no, no. The, the, the caller. Did I feel I loved the person? Yeah, did you love her? Yeah, when I was 24 and I met an 18-year-old that was the hottest piece of ass I ever had, I thought I loved her. That's what happened with me. That's exactly what happened with me, yes. So what happened? How long were you guys together? You loved her. When we broke up, I was the happiest guy in the world. I had more money. I had more ass than a toilet seat because I was listening to Tom Likas. Well, yeah, and and that's... that's, But how did you move on from that? I mean, did you... I got ass. I went and got raped. And that, that's how any real man gets over a relationship. God forbid right. I say the word relationship. You you bang everything that moves. That's how men get over it. That's how real men get over a relationship or a marriage. They they F anything that moves. Yes. My friends are telling me, but listen to this, though. I, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, well, I guess I'm going to say it no matter what. I was with somebody two weeks ago, okay, and all I could think about was her, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't hear it. All I could see. Have you thought about men? No. <laughs> Come on, man. You couldn't do it because you were thinking about her. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't help anymore, Tom. <laughs> well, I do, father. Hey, so, Tom. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm blowing you go. up, Mark. Here you. Here you go, Mark. Oh, stop. I'm sorry, Mark. 
Now, what you need to do is you just need to start banging chicks. It doesn't even matter if they're hot chicks. Just start banging chicks. Yes, sir. You must do it. I will. Stop caring about them. They are human urinals. Stop caring about them. <laughs> That's what I need to start thinking about. When exactly. you're at the Shell station and you need to relieve yourself, do you ever fall in love with the porcelain uh, uh, the vessel you use to relieve <laughs> no, yourself? No. Absolutely not. You get in your car and you go to the next gas station. That's what you do. Yeah. I need to learn that. I, you I, need I, to learn that. Yeah. Even if you find a beautiful urinal, you don't fall in love with it. You use it the same way. Well, see, I wasn't like it's your mouth on the air. I, I cheated her badly for the first year, and I wasn't like that. But I just you know, evolved into you know a person that I am now with a big heart. And don't ever evolve. Always be a jerk. Yeah, you're right. You're right, father. And stop having babies with people. Yeah. Well, she didn't want me to get a vasectomy because you know she wanted because to she wanted to have babies, and then she wanted you to pay for them. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I totally hear you. Remember, turkey basters can't pay can't pay uh, uh, child support. You're right. Well, Father, can I ask you for one thing before you hang up on me? Yes. If you will hang up on me. I, I love it. Take me out Kobe style, please. All right, Mark. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I called you and you let me know that I was a loser because I was paying for my girlfriend's college education while I was going to a lesser school. I dumped that bitch the next day. She was so confused and I just told her, like it's 101, baby. <laughs> That's like Zorro making the sign of the Z before he leaves. That's great. It's Like His 101 on the Tom Like His Show. It's the Tom Like His Show at 1 800 5800. Tom, it's Like His 101. I am your professor. Duran on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, how are you? Great. Hey, um, you know, it's the second time we talked. Uh, I called you about, you know, a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, more or less, I don't know. Time goes by so fast around here. Anyway, uh, let me tell you a uh, short about myself. I'm from Israel, 28, so it'll be 29. Okay, now uh, I have a girlfriend for about uh, two years. Why? Now you asked me why. I knew you were going to ask me that. Well, uh, you know, Tom. I've no been, game? Uh, I've been with hundreds of girls, you know, all my life. I know I look good and everything, but, you know, she caught me in, in a bad time. Like, you know, I was I was in the worst time of my life, like mentally, you know, and financially. So, I don't know. I just caught with that. I just fell in love, you know what I'm saying? You fell in love or you were desperate? Nah, man, I fell in love. I mean, she kind of saved me in a way, you know. It's what not do you, like need, why do you have... need women to save you? Why are you so, why are you not self-sufficient? No, 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 it's not like she's, I don't know how to say it, man. She because, saved you. Know, you. Felt, like she I said, saved I you. That's pathetic. Uh, why do you think it's pathetic, man? I mean, it's not like I didn't you have You should not need to be life. saved by a broad. You should be saving yourself. Well, I don't know how you want to call it, but that's that's not. I just called it. Say so you just. I used your words. She saved you. How pathetic! Nah, man, she saved me emotionally. That's what I meant, man. I mean, look, look. <laughs> don't don't do this, please. That's not what you're I'm calling. killing me, Larry. <laughs> you're killing me, Larry. Hey, man, I felt like oh, man, I was. Young and stupid. That was two years ago, okay? But let's not. You were young and stupid now. two years ago, and what are you now? <laughs> You're saying. middle aged and stupid now? Anyway, now that's not the point. The reason I'm calling is because I know she wants to get married. We never really discussed about it seriously. I know she wants to get married. I've been listening to you for more than, for almost two years now. 
Okay, and she knows I'm listening to you. She knows I listen to you almost every day. She knows I'm listening to you in traffic, at home, wherever. She knows exactly who you are. She knows exactly what your politics is. She knows exactly what your concept, the big concept of not getting married. She don't believe in that. She don't believe that I believe in that, and I do believe in that, what you say. You know, you got me into this, okay? You got me into I this. didn't get you into having a girlfriend, I'll tell you that. You got me into do not get married. Right. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I recently um, realized that she's about to inherit a $4 million house in, um, in Corona. That's where I live. Okay? She lives in uh, Rancho uh, Santa Margarita. So she's GUD on top of that. What's that? She's GUD, geographically undesirable. <laughs> nah, man, it's not like... Kind of Which nothing. in my book is geographically desirable, or GD. Yeah, well, I guess, I guess. The further away they live, the better. That, yeah, you know, we always If I could date chicks on other planets, I'd be doing it. Yeah, yeah, I always told her, you know, that if if I ever get married, it's always going to be with some rich bitch, you know. I was putting it, like, little by little that, you know, I do not want to get married. And if it's going to happen, it's going to be, like, when I'm 30, 40, 50, wherever. And it's all going to be... But you understand, it. none of that's going to stop you from having to pay child support. Even if she's got uh, money, it's not going to stop you from having to pay child support. The thing is, it's not like she really has money, Okay. It's not like she's... Well, then if she doesn't that. really have money, there's no reason to get married. Well, you see, that's where that's where the goal, you know... Um, you know, you can't have it both think. ways. She has money, but she doesn't have money. She either does or doesn't. No, and if she doesn't, there is about, no reason for you to get married. It's too risky. She's about to inherit from... She's, a, she's the only grandchild. You're not she's entitled to any of that. If she inherits the money, it belongs to her under the law. Why? Why is that? If if we get married, because the money the the money you split is the money that you earn, or the money that you make from a business. Inheritance is different. You need an attorney to explain this to you. Really, I didn't know that. Man. That's right. Yeah, that I, money yeah, belongs was, to her. Not I was thinking you. you're gonna. Get, I was thinking you're gonna get into this all prenup stuff, you know. But I know that you would never ever offer or agree to sign any prenup with me, you know? And I don't care signing because, you know, she's the one who has more of the money than I am, you know, but... Um, yeah, but who who makes the most money at the job? Right now? Actually, I do. You do. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So who do you think is going to be paying vagina money if the thing doesn't work out? Well... And who do you think is going to be paying the child support when she gets knocked up? And trust me, if she hasn't started putting pinholes in your condoms by now, she will be. <laughs> what are you laughing about? No, I mean, I know you're saying this. You're saying to me everything, you know, saying me the same and thing. And you that I know listen. it's true. I know it's true. That's what I'm but saying. But you're going to do know? something stupid here anyway. I can feel it. You know, because it just, it just these days, you know, everybody keeps thinking of how the sucks the economy is, how bad everybody Oh, yeah, so get married because there is a money. recession, so I need to get married. <laughs> it's the house, man. It's the house. That's the only... What house? The house he's about to inherit. Oh, Jesus Christ. So that's what you're saying. I didn't so know you would get I... married to avoid paying rent? No, no, no. Well, that's no, true now love. That told, now that you told me that he inherited stuff, that, you know... It's not a sharing thing, you know, that changes the whole subject. You know? Right. I didn't know that. There is no benefit to you to get married, so don't do it. I know. I know. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Dad. Teron, thank you. Caitlin, if you use any obscene language, I'm going to hang up on you and we're going to bleep it out. So I'm telling you before we start. I know the screener told you not to use obscene language. I'm letting you know this is a broadcast. And under the uh, laws of the federal government, you can't curse. If you try it, that'll be the end of the call. Do you understand? Yeah. I hope you do. We'll see just how much you understand. Okay. Hello? 
Yes. I didn't okay. call you. You called me. See what? Okay, well, this is what I was wondering about. You were talking about women being human urinals. Human and toilets, I actually, but yeah, human urinal okay. is fine. That's that's a good one. Okay, too. human toilet. I mean, you'd you only be. A, by the way, you'd only be a human urinal if if somebody used urine, which I doubt they would. Okay, well, you actually said urinals, but no, I you... said human toilet. I you used what? a I used a urinal as an example of a kind of toilet that you wouldn't fall in love with if you uh, happen to relieve yourself in a toilet. You wouldn't fee- in a urinal. You would not fall in love with it. But I refer to women as human toilets, not human urinal. Dude, you're like okay. Anyways. Do you have any, like, children or daughter or No, son or by anything? design. By design, I do not. You do not? Okay. By design. Okay, I mean, what is your deal against women? Did you just get, like, I have nothing against women. I have, I love women. There's no, there's no better place to unload your sperm than a woman. None. I just, just absolutely the best. Why would I have anything against women? Okay, so then why are you, I mean, you just have to be alone and die alone? I mean... I'm, well, I, darling, it's not that I'm alone. I, 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 I don't have anyone else living at my address, but I've got friends. I've got women I have, have sex with. Do you have anybody on your family name or your family? My family name? Else? My brother has a son. He has the family name. Done deal. You what? My brother, who has my your last brother? name, he has a son. My my nephew has the family name. And Done. Is he, is he married? Yes, he's married. He is. Yes. And what, I mean, obviously. So therefore, there is no need for me to have babies and carry on the family name. My brother did the hard work. He did the heavy lifting. Okay, and I mean, what does his wife think of you? I don't really care what his wife thinks of me. I, I mean, deserve... that's a night for an interesting family Christmas and get-togethers. Actually, uh, we've had some very good get-togethers because uh, uh, my uh, sister-in-law understands what I do for a living and how it works. I understand that you're like, a total like this. A total what? Rude, like nasty person. I'm a nasty person. Well, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm nasty very upfront person. about who I am. I'm a you jerk. Know, I'm a son of a bitch. Day. I'm a bastard. <laughs> like just jerked around and screwed and thrown what? away. What? Your your cell phone is cutting out, darling. Well, we're going through the hills right now. We're, we That's not my problem. Well, don't lose me. Just finish the conversation. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I just think it's really jacked up because I mean. So I was going to dump you. Knew you were going to do it, you filthy piece of trailer trash, and I know you're listening. You filthy piece of crap. I knew you were going to curse on the air. Dean warned me about you. And you and your trailer trash ways, uh, don't call here again. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. I'm your professor. Hello. Hello, J- Tom. Hello, John. How's it going? Uh, great. Let's kill some more time here. Uh, okay. Um, well, what, what's your favorite recipe? Friend, what's okay, your favorite color? Was about birth control because I listen to you and I wear a condom every time. And uh, you're talking about how make sure the girl's also on a birth con- some kind of birth control and just like uh, a couple minutes ago i heard you say uh have them prove it to you and i was wondering exactly what how you do that how you let me how you have them prove it to you well first of all are you talking about uh, just uh, a one night stand or are you talking about a friend with benefits or are you talking about a girlfriend a girlfriend why do you have a girlfriend well, I let her know how it is. It's just, um, I how is it? Piece of let ass me know how it is. Yeah. How is it? Uh, uh, basically, I'm not going any further than just a steady piece of ass. And Well, then she's not your girlfriend. Uh, well, Why didn't you tell her she's not your girlfriend? Well, I didn't think about it that way, but... Why, yeah, why not? Like, well, I just thought since we're just seeing each other, you know... Um, diligently. That's She's a friend with benefits. That's okay. it. But you have to tell her that, too. Telling it to me, it, it doesn't mean anything. You have to tell it to her. Okay, right. But you, you won't, you. will you? You'll call oh, her a yeah. girlfriend. No, you won't. You've got no game, I can already tell. And you're not going to tell her that. Well, no, I, I admit I don't have game. But I'll, I'll it's clear that. you don't have game. That's why yeah. you have a girlfriend. I, I'll admit that. I don't have game compared to you, Professor, sir. 
Um, I don't have any game, but I, I will tell her that because um, I, I do not want to be in like. Uh, and game by the game. way, are you living with her? No, I'm living by myself. She lives by herself. I live by myself. Right. And you understand that if she wants a relationship, mm -hmm. she can uh, leave me. Yeah. She will have a baby. Yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm. so that's why I'm. That's why I'm asking this question about birth control because I mean I use the condom every time, you know, when I'm having sex with her. But she claims, you know, I, I, I listen to you diligently, and you know, there's girls out there that lie about birth control. You know, just get. Yes, I, I, I'm not saying you'll get an answer, but at least I want you to check. And how would I do because that? Because you're just going to ask your point blank. What kind of birth control do you use? Uh -huh, and um, I, don't, I don't know how many um, birth control. I mean, even though, like, she answers that. Let's say she answers that, right? And how, I mean, how else can I know? I mean, it's not like I watch her do it. No, right? I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying you want, by asking the question, you get an idea of what her attitude is about getting pregnant. Oh. Okay, That's what you want to find out. What would she do if she got pregnant? You need to ask that question. Oh. Okay. What would she do? And if huh? she hesitates or she uses phrases like, oh, I don't think I'd have a baby, you have to get out. Uh-huh. But when she um, says, like, she's dead on against getting a kid right now. I mean, you know, like, like you said, I always listen to you. And, you know, I listen to, you know, how people, you know, it's, you really can't trust what a girl says any, at all these days. You know what I mean? And I'm not I, saying to trust her. Uh -huh. I'm just saying it's a good way to start getting the lay of the land. Oh, uh, okay. So, well, I'm going to be trying to tell about what else signs is there. The what? That. Well, uh, what other signs should I be looking for? Besides, um, you know, she, all well, she wants to move in with you. She wants to get married. She talks about marriage. She okay. talks about children. She talks about how cute children are. She's obsessed with getting pets into the home. Oh, okay. Does she have any? No, she doesn't have any pets. If she does, that's a sign. Oh, okay. Well, but you shouldn't you. have a girlfriend. Well, yeah. Well, now that I'm, you know, I want to tell her it's going to be friends with benefits. That's it. You know, I just. I just um, misinterpreted my how, how to you know tell it to her, so I'm going to tell it to her tonight when I see her. You know, it's going to be just friends with benefits. What we have going is just you know a gang laid, and that's it. And if she has any problem with that, it's time to go. Tom Likas, by the Tom, I've got three words for those uh, stupid men out there that still decide that they're going to get married to these women, and that is prenup. Prenup, prenup. Tom like his show. Tom Likas Show. Likas 101 coming to you from Hollywood, California. Which, as they once said of the dating game, is the dating capital of the world. Hi. Hi. What's that guy's name? Johnny Jacobs. The announcer of the dating game. Yes, the dating capital of the world, Hollywood, California. Yes. And we're all about the dating. What is that other noise in the background besides Herb Albert? What is that? It, it's not, it's not like someone spinning a wheel of fortune or something or doing a lot of coke. I couldn't tell what it was. That all happens here in Hollywood. Absolutely it does. Yes. Can you imagine this was this was like dating game music? Mm hmm. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. You know Herb Alpert is a listener. You know that, right? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right, let's say hello here to uh, Andrea on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Um, so basically I kind of feel more like the guys on this calling in because, um, okay, well, I have a boyfriend, and he is a lot older than me. And, um, 
We've been dating for like um, a few months, like like eight months or something. And like he's at the age where he wants to like get married, I guess, and like settle down. And I'm totally not, but I really like him. And like it's kind of like I want to save him for later, which I know I can't do. Save him for later? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like my friends are all like, "Oh my God, like you're too young to be." T- like so serious and stuff. Um, I don't know. I like. I I don't want to break up with him because there's no problems. But like, I feel like I should be dating. You know, a lot of guys. Well, you should be dating a lot of guys, but you can't save anybody for later. I know. I know. That's why I don't want to break up. Like, I, you know. Dear, like, you're too young to have a boyfriend. Well, um. I don't know. If I broke up with him, like, I I don't know. I guess I really don't know. What do you mean? You really don't know what? Like, what I want to do. I'm just listening to what, like, my friends told me to do that. I should date other people, and you tell me that I should, but I don't don't really want to right now. Well, you're going to pay for it down the line. I guess. Because you're either going to, A, cheat on him later when you realize what you've missed out on, and you are missing out on a lot. I guess. I mean, I haven't nailed you yet, so you're missing out on a lot. <laughs> oh, probably. Right? That's one. Uh, uh, another thing is uh, uh, later on, if you get married, you'll do things behind his back because you'll feel like you missed out on something. Yeah, that's true. You will. Oh, I know, but I, I really do like have caring, loving feelings for him. Well, but the, the, see, I was already, I was already bad girl. I was already like, you know. So you've already cheated. By... So you've already cheated on it. Yeah, but I mean, like, before I was even with him, I was a bad girl, and, that, like, I'm already, like, I'm kind of over that whole scene. Darling, you know, how, whole, many, like, how many men have you been with? How many men have you been with? Like, 20. You've had <laughs> sex with 20, or you've dated 20? Uh, had sex with. You had sex with 20 men? Yeah. That means humping, pumping sex, not... Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So that's enough. You're done. <laughs> um... I don't know. I, I guess Well, not. until you know, <laughs> you you cannot have a boyfriend and you cannot get married. You can't. Well, am I ever going to be done? Like I don't know. And if you're not, you should never get married. <laughs> oh, I guess. I don't know. Because I'll tell I you what, I wouldn't tolerate it. If I were in a relationship with you and you wanted to have girls' night out and you wanted to go out to clubs and you yeah, wanted to go away to that. Cancun or club. Cabo over the weekend, you'd come back to locks that were changed. You would not get back in. Yeah, but I don't I do not do the clubbing thing. Whatever it is you do, if you said you wanted to go with your girlfriends to Cancun for the weekend or however you would get it out of your system down the line, I wouldn't well, yeah, tolerate it. Yeah, and he's really, like, he's really, like, he wouldn't even... Like he would be sad. He would be like sad if I did that. He would be, act like yeah. a baby. Right. Well, no, he would be. He he'd have every right. Put it this way, he'd be acting like a pussy. He'd have every right to be upset. Yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I I don't, I don't want to feel like I wasted his time, but I guess he should have known that, right? Darling, no, you never wasted your time uh, being with somebody. Uh, when it's over, it's over. Move on. Yeah. Have fun. You, you completely get it out of your system, and if you can't. Do not make somebody miserable by getting with them and then disappointing them later. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Damn, I, I, I wanted to, like, not not think that you were right, but you are. <laughs> I know. Because you called that girl trailer trash, and that was kind of mean. She was trailer trash. <laughs> you didn't hear what she said. <laughs> oh, okay, then maybe she was. You're right. It was <laughs> filthy and disgusting. What's her name? I don't remember. T.T. Bertha. <laughs> Okay, thanks, uh, Tom. This is my first time, like, listening to you or anything. Where have you been? Um, in Texas. We're on in Texas. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess I'm the TT then. <laughs> guess so. All right, Andrea, thank you. Jeez. Megan on Like Us 101. All these women, hello. Hi, Tom, how are you? I'm okay. I just wanted to call because that, that girl pissed me off as well. And I don't listen to you that often. I just started listening again. I listened last summer and then just, for, I don't know, I, I was a guy that I was dating was listening to you. So got introduced to you by, the, by that. And I was offended at first. But now that I've listened to you more regularly, I just want to tell all the women out there that you're not a good, bad guy. 
Like, I don't care what they say, and I don't care what you say about you being a jerk and whatever. It's just the fact that you have the way that you believe in things, and I completely agree with you, but you also don't force those beliefs on other people that, you know, that they can think the way that they think, and, you know, uh, that certain ideas and lifestyles fit certain people, but at the same time, the majority of people... Um, aren't suited for a varied life and if but if that's what they want then that's what they want and i just wanted to compliment to compliment you on what you do i don't always agree with your tactics but everything that you do i think is true my my tactics work and i thank you for that jeremy on the tom like his show hello hey how you doing tom great Oh, uh, well, I got a couple questions for you. Uh, I heard you say that uh, not to compliment women, and I wonder what. And I wonder why. Because your goal is to lower their self-esteem, not raise it. Okay, all right, that sounds good. Because uh, your goal is to get laid. Yeah, yeah. If a woman's self-esteem is high, she'll say to herself, "I can do better than him." So, so you, so you put them down to make them think that they're nothing. Well, we use a series of backhanded compliments on women. I like that. I like that. You know, uh, I I, li I listen to the show. I work. I work in an office, and uh, you know, there's some girls in there that that don't like what you're saying. I'll bet. Uh, they they say that uh, you 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 might be a closet case homosexual. Well, I'll tell you what. Anyone who wants to come up down here and pull down their pants, I'll be happy to demonstrate. <laughs> right on, Tom. Right on. You take it easy, man. You know what else they call you though? What's that? They they call you Tom Lightnuts, and I, I tell them, man, you better back off the professor. Well, come down here and call me that. <laughs> I bet you serve it to them good, huh? I'll serve it to them good. I'll give, give them a good crack in the ass. We'll see how they feel about that. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell them to shut their bitch mouth up, boy. Tell them. All right, Tom, take it easy, man. Thank you. Brittany on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Father. Daughter, how are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing great. I am calling for the guys that are listening that keep calling and saying that they found these women that they want to spend the rest of their lives with. The thing is, what you got to do is you go down to Walmart, you buy a $15 ring, engage to her, see the look on her face, and if she gets past that... She should have no problem signing the prenup. And once she doesn't sign the prenup, her true colors will fly. Didn't and I see a story about see. Carmen Electra the last couple of days? Uh, she was upset about uh, somebody gave her an engagement ring? Yeah, and if you're getting it for free, why do you care how much it costs? I thought it was all about love. Exactly. I guess it's not. And you will see that as soon as it goes through. I have friends trying to get married right now talking about how much their engagement ring costs. And they're all in it for the money. That's the same, how, same girls that are going to screw you over on child support 10 years down the road. That is how I see it. I thank you for that. I have time for one more call this hour. Let's try Fernando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Yes, I'd have to call you father because my dad passed away. Uh, yes, indeed. Years. And I stepped into the breach. <laughs> and let me tell you, the only advice he ever gave me was drink vodka. <laughs> I guess it worked for him. I guess so. Anyways, I was calling because I constantly hear these women calling me complaining about you berating women. But I guess they don't listen to your total show. They don't listen daily because I've heard you a few times. You call, but you 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 had battered women call in, and you always give them really good advice. And you you tell women how to pick up men or how to go about. The like is 101. And uh, these three last women that you had, the doctor, I mean, could you imagine being married to that woman? She couldn't even talk to you about, about sex? No. Can you imagine how much fun it is to have sex with somebody like that? No, I, I could not. I, I just, it's just frustrating. And what's really great is the master you have on the English language and the definition, definition of the English, English language. You know, you got these women, they don't know what they're talking about. They call in angry. And they freak out. Logic is foreign to them. The Tom Likas Show.